privately owned prison claiming her son was denied life-saving medical care after he swallowed a plastic spork. Her son died in the Lawton Correctional Center in January. Her attorney tells our Haley Wager she wants to make sure this never happens to anyone again. It's been 10 months since Justin Barrientos died in the Lawton Correctional and Rehabilitation Facility run by private group GEO. Now his family is asking what happened. Tragic death of a young man in the uh, Lawton Correctional uh, Prison operated by a private prison group. Paul DeMuro is representing Justin's mother. She claims Justin begged for essential medical treatment for several days after swallowing a spork, resulting in a bowel perforation. What she says was met with indifference and dismissal by GEO's correctional and medical staff. Ignored obvious signs of uh, urgent medical emergency, uh, and as a result, uh, Mr. Barrientos died alone. After swallowing the spork, Justin was allegedly put on suicide watch, where prison staff were required to watch the camera in his cell 24-7. DeMuro says an investigation by DOC showed that Lawton's prison logs were falsified. One of two things happened. Either the correctional officers who were responsible for uh, keeping a continuous watch on Mr. Barrientos failed to do so for prolonged periods of time, or they watched him in obvious medical distress and did nothing to intervene. DeMiro is hoping this case will shed light on what he says are systemic issues with the only privately run prison in Oklahoma. A referendum on whether Oklahoma should have a private for-profit company running our prisons. Asking for change to help prevent this for anyone else. The, the bottom line is the state can do a lot better. A GEO Group spokesperson said in a statement, we offer our condolences to Mr. Barrientos family and remain committed to ensuring the health and safety of all of those in our care, adding that they have no further comment while the litigation is pending. Haley Wager, Oklahoma's own 